In a world where drones rule the skies, Turkey fires back with lasers. Unveiled at IDEF 2025, the Alka Kaplan doesn't shoot missiles, it zaps threats mid-air. AI-driven, silent, and deadly. This tank redefines modern warfare. The future of combat isn't coming. It just rolled in from Istanbul. Turkey, already recognized internationally for its pioneering use of armed drones in modern warfare, unveiled the next step in battlefield technology this week at the IDF 2025 Defense Expo in Istanbul. Debuting to global attention, the Alka Kaplan is the first tracked combat vehicle reportedly capable of jamming and disabling enemy drones using high-powered lasers and electromagnetic interference. Developed jointly by two Turkish defense giants, FNSS and Roketsan, this platform is being positioned as a direct response to the rising threat that drones now pose to armored units and ground forces. Unlike conventional missile-based air defense, which relies on expensive and limited interceptor stocks, the Alka Kaplan brings together AI-assisted tracking, real-time electronic warfare, and directed energy weapons in a fully mobile hybrid package. As explained by engineers from FNSS, a specially designed hybrid power pack built in-house provides both silent vehicle mobility and the immense electrical supply needed to run the ALCA-directed energy weapon system, removing the need for a separate generator and making the tank especially hard to detect on the battlefield. The resulting system, Turkish officials say, is able to identify, jam and then destroy enemy drones in a matter of seconds. It can target not only standard quadcopters, rotary UAVs and loitering munitions, but also IEDs and unexploded munitions, clearing hazards for convoys or troops advancing in contested areas. The vehicle's AI-driven targeting suite and GPS-denied navigation further expand its effectiveness against the latest generation of autonomous threats. The heart of the Alka Kaplan's battlefield promise is its hybrid architecture. By integrating a homegrown high kilowatt generator with electric traction motors, the vehicle delivers extended silent operations, key for reconnaissance, ambushes, or defensive watch without being acoustically or thermally detected by enemy sensors. When driving in electric-only mode, the tracked armoured vehicle moves almost silently, a significant tactical advantage in complex operational environments. FNSS developed the underlying powertrain and electronic systems entirely within Turkey, including a proprietary cross-drive gearbox, technology that, until recently, was sourced almost exclusively from a small group of manufacturers abroad. The modular platform is optimized for up to 20 tons, with a heavier 40-ton class version in development to meet diverse mission needs. Efficiency is another hallmark. The electric system recovers energy during braking, further reducing fuel logistics and extending mission duration. When stationary, the generator can also export electrical power to other units or command posts, reinforcing operational flexibility. On the weapons side, the Alcaduz uses a dual-layer approach. First, it deploys electromagnetic jamming, which can disrupt drone guidance, especially those using advanced, GPS-denied or image-assisted navigation. Then, it delivers a precision laser hard kill, neutralizing or destroying the target mid-air, often at a fraction of the operational cost of traditional interceptors. AI-driven tracking algorithms ensure a quick response even in cluttered electromagnetic environments or during simultaneous multi-drone attacks. Rocketson, the system's primary developer, describes Alka as not only effective against various UAV types, but also able to be adapted for fixed, mobile or portable deployment. This means the technology can be scaled for use in static base defense, city protection, or mobile convoy security without fundamental redesigns. The 
the Alka Kaplan rollout highlights a broader evolution in Turkey's defense industry. Over the past decade, Ankara has aggressively reduced its reliance on foreign technology, especially in areas seen as strategically critical, like high-energy weapons and advanced propulsion systems. Sevdet Yilmaz, the Turkish vice president, emphasized the transformation. Our goal is to exceed 10 billion in annual exports and enter the category of countries with double-digit exports. Yilmaz recently stated that Turkey's dependency on foreign materials has dropped from 70% to 30%. This policy has paid off. According to official figures, Turkey's defense exports have jumped from $1.9 billion to $7.1 billion in the past decade, with 3,500 companies now employing over 100,000 people in the sector. Halak Gorgan, president of Turkey's Defense Industry Agency, frames the success in global terms. The Turkish defense industry is the world's 11th largest exporter, claiming that some 75% of locally produced defense systems are now in use with NATO forces and that Turkey controls an estimated 65% share of the global unmanned aerial vehicle market. The Alka Kaplan is a clear emblem of this homegrown focus. Most critical components, including hybrid drivetrains, gearboxes and mission electronics, are domestically designed, validated and produced, increasing both Turkey's security of supply and its competitiveness in international markets. The system's debut at IDF 2025 is expected to attract attention from European, Middle Eastern and possibly Asian defence delegations as militaries worldwide prepare to counter the accelerating threat posed by both state and non-state drone use. Looking ahead, Turkish officials have signalled that the Alka Kaplan will be adaptable for future tracked vehicle platforms and modernisation programs. This ambition is part of a broader effort, and soon, the country expects to tackle even more advanced capabilities, such as nuclear-powered submarines, further cementing its role as a top-tier defence exporter and innovator.